Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, here is a a follow up to the one the last video I just did, uh, which uh, was showing you how to test for the damaged LEDs uh, inside a tele, uh, flat screen LED telly. Um, so I thought I'd show you the progress I'm making in repairing this one right now. So I showed you in the last video where I tested this LED was was uh, not working. <clears throat> so what I've done now, I've already used a pair of pliers to take that cover off of there. So I'm going to discard that. And then I marked out the positive and negative. And what I've done here is I've ground off the paint to, to reveal the copper underneath um, there and there. And I'll show you what I use for that. On my, on the end of my drill is actually one of these. And it does quite good at just grinding off, grinding that off there. So I used that on there, and then I also used it on the new LED, which I've cut to go in its place. So you can see the shiny copper I've revealed on there and there. And I've already tested this. I'll quickly show you again with my <coughs> remote control to do the test for you. So. Show you now that's the negative side and that's the this is the negative and that's the positive and if I touch them onto the bare copper from the new one it should light up straight away there we go just that so you can actually see it there we go and then of course this one I know I took the cover off but that LED does not work on there so the next job is to solder some wires to go from here, from here to here, and then from there to there, and then basically sort of tape that, or you can hot glue it, hot glue gun it and stick it there. But I'm just going to tape it over because it, it normally just it does fine like that. So I'm going to solder that on there now. I've already cut um, some some wire. I've got like um, this, this old telephone wire, so it's just single copper wire in each one. And I've always used bits of this wire, it seems to do the trick. I did a, a white one and a, a red one there. So I'm going to go ahead and do some soldering now. Hopefully the camera will stay put while I do that. Um, <clears throat> put some solder flux on there first this helps it to stick on a bit easier with the soldering Flux is very cheap off of eBay. I think it's cost cost about two pound. I have it quite a while, quite a while now, and it's lasted for ages. <coughs> right, I'm gonna basically just get some on the end of these wires as well. Just like I said, it helps to get the solder to bond really quickly. Try and make sure I keep it right on the end. There we go. Right now, the soldering iron should be fairly hot already. <coughs> so I'm going to start by putting some solder actually on the, on the bare copper part. That way, there's already some copper, uh, some solder on there, hopefully. There we go. At least if I see a blob of uh, solder on there, I know it's sticking to the to 
to the uh, metal, which is exactly what I want it to do. <laughs> right. That's why that flux is such a good idea, it helps it stick. There we go. Right, so now let's stick the. I'm, using, I'm going to use the red as the positive side. Uh, I have to try and figure out where to bend the wire across as well. So I'm going to put that bit on there first. Let's see what that will work on there. That's nice and solid, I think. <clears throat> right, and I'll do the white side as well for the negative side. So now, I'm going to bend that over the negative to now solder onto this one. It's quite hot. <laughs> okay, right, well, that's stuck on there. Now, I do the positive side as well. That's fine. So as long as those solder joints <clears throat> are nice and solid, that shouldn't come off at all. And now I should hopefully just be able to move that. Actually, um, I'm going to have to do something now because I've, I've realised something underneath this is actually copper here, and I don't want that to then cause a if I lay it on top of that, it's going to co cause that to just short circuit. So uh, I'm going to have to put some tape across that. I don't normally do them like that. I normally try and do the solder quite away, away from where I'm laying it down. But it uh, didn't work out this time with the with the layout of these particular LEDs that I'm using. Anyway, this should be fine. If I tape that over, that shouldn't then touch that. There we go. That should seal it away from the connection. <coughs> Just going to put some tape across there now. Okay, I'm going to put some tape here to hold this in place now. Um, uh, electrical insulating tape, I think. Just oh, tape over that bit. Okay, so now hopefully <coughs> um, we could try and test it through not, not the solder that you can see there, but through the other side. To do it now because I've, I've covered it all up, but I'll try. Just want to see if it lights up now. Oh, there we go. Look at that, it lights up. Perfect. Okay, so that one's done. And then, uh, uh, Got one more to do, but I'm just going to do that separately. This is just to show you a rough idea of how to how to put in an extra LED to replace that. So position-wise, it's ex it's in exactly the right position, and then when you put the cover back on, uh, it will cover all this up. You won't see any of that anyway, um, and that light will then light up along with all the other LEDs. 
and you should it should stop it flashing on and off because if all the LED is working it won't be uh, having a problem so um, there you go I hopefully that will be of some use as well and uh, if you like my channel please do like and subscribe and uh, I will see you again next time thanks bye bye